the first, I can't find it yet. Is the first item set adjust agenda? There it is. Um, first item is adjust agenda. No, hang on. That's the wrong one. Hang you have on. it right. Set adjust agenda. Yeah. Does anybody have anything we need to add on or are we okay with our one task? I'm good. Got it. Okay. Eric, I was just wondering if we could talk about the um, the individuals for the town manager hiring. Yeah, talk a little about the town manager hiring process. And the committee or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, sure. just the commit the committee. And what we're looking for, like how many and all that. Yeah, let's add that as a item two. Is that okay? Yes. Do we have a anything else that people want to talk about today, or is that good? Will we talk about the the crosswalk thing that you just sent in, like old business or something? That could yeah, be. let's do that. Old business is good. Okay. <clears throat> All right, could we have a motion to um, to amend the agenda to add an item two to discuss a uh, town manager hiring committee? So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Everyone, thank you. All right, uh, any communication? For, we don't have any audience with us today, so um, communication is small. Uh, so let's go right into our main um, item number one. Um, and this is tragic circumstances that bring us here, the death of Gary Bellavance, who had just joined us at, um, this spring um, has caused a vacancy on the select board that we need to fill. And uh, so the, the Vermont state st statutes um, and it's uh, 24 VSA chapter 123 section 302 D um, says that, that, and I believe, sorry, that's a reference to um, actually our town. Um, 123 is the Hardwick Town Charter. And so that says that, that we, the select board will fill the vacancy basically. Um, just want to note that there was some other perhaps confusing or confounding information cited from statute in a recent Hardwick Gazette article, but um, all that notwithstanding, uh, we believe that the town charter vests the power to, um, or the responsibility to fill the vacancy <laughs> for the select board. Um, and um, so, that being the case, um, we have, uh, I'm aware of um, interest from Elizabeth Dow, who has served with us recently, from Larry Hamill, who has <coughs> served with us fairly recently, not as recently as Wiz. Um, and any others that people want to put forward as folks who they think are willing and able to serve, who would we should consider. Did you ever ask Danny? I didn't ask Danny. Um, I'm sure, well, I'm not sure of anything. Seems like, I, yeah, seems like kind of a hard thing. I mean, he's going to help us with the hiring maybe, but. He, he said he would help us with the search committee. So, and he said he really wants to be involved in that. And I'm kind of counting on him there, but that's our next discussion. Um, I did not talk to him about whether he, I told him that, you know, at that point we knew that Wiz was interested. Yeah. Um, I hadn't had the letter from Larry yet. At hmm. that point. I imagine <clears throat> knowing Danny, he would have said something if he wanted to be considered. Yeah. So. But if, <laughs> All right. Um, 
so um, I don't know. So we have we're basically thinking about two folks who have served with us before, which um, I think is uh, a good way. It's a limiting our our search or our considerations to folks who have been on the board before. I think helps us move forward most easily because these folks, I mean, both Larry and Wiz know the um, the workings of the select board from having been on it before. Yeah, um, do, you, <clears throat> do you want like a motion or a nomination or something? What, what would be the most appropriate? Well, yeah. Well, I think ultimately we're gonna make an appointment. Uh -huh. So I think that we need to frame it that way. Okay, so I, I would make the motion or motion yes yeah. that we uh point. that we appoint with elizabeth dow just because she is just so recently served that she's aware of the inner workings of a lot of what we're dealing with right now and i think it'll just make it a smoother um transition and since she's willing to serve out the that one year term then we can you know then at town meeting day we can go back yeah. to the beginning of everything I would like to make the same nomination. Or second, or sec or, or second cherry. Excellent. Second cherry's mo so that I heard a sort of a I think I heard in what Sherry said a motion to appoint Wiz and then some discussion or reasoning why. Oops, sorry. That's good <laughs> though. And then Kaylee um, is making a, a second to the motion to appoint Wiz. Um, I guess. It, yeah, I mean, I think it's great that we have folks in the community who have the experience and the um, the willingness to serve, and um, I think we're very fortunate to have these folks who have done it before and are willing to step up. So um, I agree that um, since Wiz has served most recently and and for a good period of time, she's most um, acquainted with everything we're dealing with right now. Yeah. So it'll be... she also did try to <clears throat> very late in the deal thought, wait, maybe I should try to do a <laughs> right in campaign, you know, um, and it was just too late in the thing. She just, it just hadn't occurred to her. Well, I could run for a one year seat, you know, so, right. <clears throat> so I think, that, you know, she'll be fine for her, for the, for the year and she'll, she'll be able to be more helpful just because she's up to speed on so much of it. Um, yeah, I mean, I just like to say that I um, really appreciate Larry's interest as well. I mean, I know he did run a, a writing campaign um, last spring and or this spring and um, and he does have familiarity with the board, but I, I agree, I guess, with Sherry's assessment that Wiz will um, be able to step in. I mean, we have good choices, so. Um, yeah. Michael, do you have any, uh, anything you'd like to add to the discussion or? I do not. Yeah. I, I would, no, I don't. Yeah. I mean, I guess you probably don't, since you weren't on the board with these folks, then you probably No, I don't. do know Larry though. Oh, you know Larry. Okay. I do. Yep. Okay. But I definitely would, um, go along with whatever people that are more intimate knowledgeable and more recent board activity would suggest. Great. So any more discussion? All in favor of appointing Elizabeth Dow to fill out um, the open select board seat until town meeting, please indicate by saying aye. 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 All as everyone. Thank you to Wiz, thank you to Larry for your interest. Um, <clears throat> all right, so our item two is to discuss how we're gonna put together a, a town manager search. Um, I guess I'd like to just preface that with, um, I have fallen a little behind, but I did get, uh, I've had one back and forth with John Jewett about a, with a draft contract for services, which is basically gonna be hourly um, uh, without, He's not interested in benefits or anything because he's already 
in the world of retirement benefits and uh, I guess would rock his boat a little to have you know, <laughs> I don't know somehow it, it works it's just a straight hourly thing and it would you know so we're working on that at I think it's 24 to 32 hours a week is the the range and um I think it's going to end up being all said and done, it's going to end up being roughly budget neutral to us, despite an, like an overlap between Sean's actual end of Sean's contract and the beginning of um, John's. So I think it'll all kind of work out for us financially. Um, I just need to review again and, and I'll bring it, I'm hoping to bring that to us on, what is it, May 6th? Yep. Yeah. So um, that should be in order. And then John is hoping or has expressed interest in helping us with our search, which I think would be good. And, and so what we've done in the past is we've done a search committee. So it's the, I guess, let's just outline that it, it is the, the responsibility of the select board to hire and manage the town manager. Um, however, in the past, what we've done is we've tried to include some folks from the community in the search committee. So even though those folks won't get a vote in who we actually hire, um, in the past, I guess I've only done one, but Sherry's done more. <laughs> it's helpful to have those other voices um, for the interviewing process, for the deliberation process, and just get a little more feel. But in the, I'm trying to remember, I think we had maybe did we have three folks last time from the community or four? Do you remember? I'm trying to remember too. I know we had Richard Brochu. We had three. Sean three? Sang three. Yeah. yeah. Richard Brochu. We had um, Bill um, uh, Richardson, I think. Didn't we have him? Yeah. And. Um, or was okay. he on the one where we hired John? <laughs> Because we did this that other time too. We did this when yeah, we had John yeah. as well, and we I think uh, Christina Mickelson participated in the one where we hired John yeah. and Danny because he wasn't on the board yet. Oh, okay, uh, he was a community member instead, and then uh -huh. he, did he? And he was on the board when we hired Sean. He was correct. Oh, so, um, I, yeah. Sorry, it was three years ago. I've lost track of the names, but there was, I recall three, I recall three additional. So anyway, that's kind of up to us, I guess. So in the past, we think there were three. Um, I think that was, I think, it, I think that was three the time before that too. And, um, and we basically just invited them. Invited yeah. People. Um, we, it's not like we posted it for a, although the one where we did, John, we might have posted it, but I, just don't remember, but you know, uh, it's kind of a commitment. So I think we it invited is. people and we may have gotten all, uh, maybe those three of the people that we invited, you know, um, I, I, don't, I don't see any harm in having a couple more community members depending on how they, you know, what their willingness. But the thing is that whoever participates needs to be in every, meeting so that there's that continuity of being able to review people and stuff like that you know right right so I've, I've heard from five or six people who are interested and i know eric you have a couple i'm wondering if maybe we could talk about those people today and then maybe at our may 6th meeting talk more about the process i know it's i don't think it's on the agenda but um, just because it's uh, it's crazy that it's already May, and this is technically our last month with Sean, so it'd be great to. It's not quite going. May. Almost. Almost. Almost May. <laughs> You're running a little ahead. <laughs> Always, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to rattle off my list? Sure. So I've heard uh, from Lucian is interested in being on the committee. Uh, Amy Rosenthal, who. Well, just obviously Lucian is our former select board member, um, Amy Rosenthal, who is the OSSU board chair and is also on the board of Hazen Union. She also supports community allies. 
um, and does numerous other things in the community. Lynn Gadikin, who is the chair of the HED board, expressed interest. Um, Ross Conley, the former Hardwick Gazette editor, expressed interest to me. And then I've Sherry mentioned that Danny obviously would also be interested as well. And Wiz was, but if she's on the select board, she'll be a part of it anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah. How many, how many is that if we just let everybody <laughs> join the party? Um, that's I mean, just four versus three, right? Yeah, and I think that, um, yeah, yeah. Do you I want to check, check in with Abby and ask her whether that seems like it's a, a manageable like group to do that? Because we're going to use the VLCT um pro process so to speak that we've used in the past aren't we are we I, so sorry, would, oh. oh sorry <laughs> it, it's actually five if it's danny lucian ross lynn and amy which is probably too many yeah well yeah maybe five it's a and just select board and community members and then do we do we off miss that you went on mute kaylee do we what oh did you hear me no, no. oh i was just saying that that would be 10 altogether if it was those five in the select board which seems like a lot yeah but what'd you yeah. say after that I don't think I said anything. I think oh. I just mumbled. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. We didn't hear the mumbling. That's fine. Off, and then that was it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so just an update on the um, uh, working with the LCT in this process. So I do not have um, a commitment from Abby that they can help us. The last time I talked to her um, about it, she wasn't sure that she, they were going to be able to offer something because they were really busy hmm. um, and they were going to maybe um, recommend that we reach out to a similar organization in New Hampshire. Huh. Well, uh, but so do we, we have, still, can we still advertise on their site if we don't use them? That's my big question because we maybe know how to do this. Well, that's what John Jewett suggested. He said, maybe you know how to do this because you've been through it recently. You still have all the information. And he's like, the town office could supply a lot of the support, the administrative support mm -hmm. that um, VLCT provided, you know, like. Um, uh, Doing um, background checks and stuff like that. Copying the, you know, getting, making sure everybody gets copies of providing central location to submit resumes, making sure the select board and, or the search committee gets copies of the resumes, helping us organize meetings, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Also, um, some of the services that we rely on, relied on VLCT for before, we may be able to access in more of an all cart fashion, like Sherry suggested advertising. I also asked explicitly about, could we get access to the salary surveys that they do for um, and we can, I think we may have to, um, so maybe we don't need to spend that money then. I mean, right. I, yeah. And Sean's chiming in that we have to remember Casey is that Amanda's going to be out, um, uh -huh. for maternity leave, but you know, uh, well, I, I totally see that. I kind of envision that when we're in the part of this process that needs the most administrative support, she'll be back is my guess. Like it's going to take us a while to ramp up. Yeah, that's a good point, Eric. I'm, uh, I was ahead of myself on the timing there. So I think, yeah. you know, I think, you know, we're going to have to go through a whole, like, we haven't even really vetted the, as a group, we haven't vetted the job description. Right. You know, we shouldn't be a big deal. We just, but we just haven't done it. And then we need to look at where do we want to advertise? And then, you know, that whole thing. And once our advertising out, we probably want it out for, I don't know, 30 days, two weeks, I don't know, something. Mm -hmm. So that's just going to, I'm just, it's going to push us out a little bit before we're actually looking for administrative support for handling resumes and that kind of thing. And this time the phones work, as my understanding, in the 
in the moment. <laughs> and most so days maybe we're all experts on stinking zoom so <laughs> right right we don't even need a phone maybe yeah but yeah last so time maybe... we're... Yeah, go ahead uh -oh. i was just wondering if we can have like talk about the process maybe in our next full select board meeting yeah i think we should good idea but then do we do we want to wait to choose do you want to wait to see what they say or if we're doing the process ourselves it seems like we can choose however many community members we want to am i right in that well i think we always can choose how many community members we want um and if we create if we talk about it on may 6th then we create sort of a, a outline of the, what the schedule would be because I assume we would have meetings outside of our regular meeting schedule. Yep. And then if it turns out that all of those people are able to jump into that schedule, then I mean, you know, there's a point when the community members go off anyway, after we've reviewed all the, you know, and, and pared down the applications. So, I mean, you know, I don't know, how bad could it be? Maybe they could take on some of the helping with some of the uh, administrative stuff, like doing little research or something. I don't know. Hmm. All right, so let's um, let's try to do that next time at our next at our regular meeting. Let's try to get a hiring committee in place, and let's try to um, get a rough timeline laid out. And I'd say once that at once that uh, agenda comes out, Kaylee, we should uh, make sure we invite those people to come for that section of the meeting, so they have a a clear understanding of what they're potentially interested in doing. You know. Yeah, it's a good point, Sherry, because I don't. That's not on the current agenda. So, should we just ask them to come for public comment and add that in? But we're talking about adding it adding to the it. agenda. So oh, okay. they would have a time. And, you know, of course, Lucian knows what it's all about. And Danny knows what it's all about. But um, but the other folks that haven't participated in the past might just need to hear what it really, what that process kind of involves. Or so I could, it's I could, a true time commitment, you know. Yeah, so I'm happy to reach out to those those people. I don't have Danny's email. Um, oh, actually, I think I do. But the only thing should I just say that they can either come to the select board meeting, and if they can't make it, they can just send us a little letter or something. It's just a, it's a bit last minute to ask people to show up on Thursday, but I'm sure most people can make the time. It's next Thursday. It's yeah, you're, you're off a week, Kaylee. It's next week. Gosh, I really am ahead. Yeah, you're the <laughs> only you're way the ahead. only one who's in May, Kaylee. <laughs> hey, hey, Saturday is screen up day. Oh. Up day okay, great. I will I will reach out to them and uh, tell them that, yes, perfect, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Screen up day makes me depressed, Sherry. Well, you know, yeah. I'm I sorry. Know. I know, I know. I I may be a I'm a I'm a Bah humbug about it, I guess, but I'll do it. I'll be out there, but I'm just yeah. saying. Um, all the trash is depressing, I guess. I know it is and depressing, it, and it comes back it. every year, which is what gets depressing about it. Mm -hmm. But it does look just... better after. All right, so we'll add. So Sean, or I don't even know if it's Casey or Amanda who's on as. It's Amanda. Hey, Amanda. So Sean mm -hmm. or Amanda, one of you will add, add an item to our agenda for us for um, our next, for our May 6th meeting. Yeah, uh, for a town manager search. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. We'll do. Awesome. Great. Um, so that's Kaylee, our- I'm emailing, I'm emailing uh, Danny's email to you, Kaylee. Okay. So I'm gonna move us to um, select board reports. So just quickie, just because, yeah. um, so the, uh, the townhouse, it officially opens June 1st. Um, I just had a exchange with Sean about getting it, um, getting the water going so that we can get in there and do some volunteer cleaning stuff. And um, I've talked to 
Mark Sassy, and we're going to uh, still use his services a little bit this summer for cleaning. But um, and we're making a plan for some open house Saturdays to try to, I don't know, invite people to maybe play the piano or whatever, and then go in one at a time or in a group that is a pod or whatever to maybe tour, you know, just give some information. We're thinking maybe there'll be people coming off of the trail. They might want to use the bathroom. You know, we might just get some awareness around the townhouse and what's there. Great. Um, oh, I'll do one quick report. Um, speaking of the rail trail, um, working with, I need to remember to follow up on this, working with Ken Brown to um, try to get uh, a couple plaques up on those bridges we redecked that just recognize the donors because we hadn't done anything in recognition and just occurred to me, you know, VTrans is going to be rolling through at some point to work on the trail. And we really worked hard to get those bridges redecked and we should recognize the folks who, who helped us get there because the trail's getting a fair amount of use. Yeah, apparently. people like the little plaque action. Yeah, that's good. Um, all right, more reports, new business, old business. Crosswalks. Crosswalks. Um, can I just say that I still am really, I really would like to see us do what we said we were going to do last time and just make a change to the ones in the downtown concentrated area. I think that the visual difference might help, um, even if it only helps the pedestrians who consistently, you know, I just, I watched like six people yesterday cross wherever they wanted, and I realized the the crosswalks aren't currently painted, but these are people that know where they are. Um, they're not, not newbies or whatever, you know. So I just, I'd love to just have that test to see if it doesn't make it a little, just that change, does it make it a little bit more obvious that, that we're, that something's happening, you know, something has changed. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm fine with our previous decision. As I said before, I'm not too concerned because it's paint and we'll redo it next year yeah. anyway. Yeah, we can um, always, you know, if we just have, if we see zero, you know. Well, we have to redo it more. every year because yeah. the paint wears out. So mm -hmm. um, that's fine. I just wanted everyone, I, the reason I forwarded that memo and for the minutes here, the, um, the John, um, blanking his last name. Kaplan. Kaplan from, uh, Trans, who's um, they're a bike peed expert there, just said that he noted Sean referenced that this our recommendations were coming out of a bike pedestrian safety task force, and he said if you're really looking for safety, the the ladder or stripes that we've used in the past are the the most effective way to let drivers know that there's a that there's a crosswalk. So just I'm up. I'm okay, Sherry, with what we decided before. I'm just want yeah. it to be noted that that's Give probably the most effective way to show drivers where a crosswalk is. I just checked it, texted Tom because he was just checking to verify he could get that terracotta paint. So that's just the last logistical item. And then we wait for the pavement to warm back up. So I'll double check with uh, Tom today about uh, making sure we get that fill in fill color. Yeah. Everybody else, Kaylee, Michael, any? <laughs> Opinions, or are you good? Good. I'm good. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, any other old business? I feel like I had something, but now I can't remember it, so it'll have to wait. So I'll uh, I'll reach out to Wiz and just make sure she's aware she's been elected and that she'll come in and do the oath. Or appointed. Yeah. Sorry, appointed. Excuse me. And uh, she'll have to do the oath. And then yeah. her email will just get reinstated. Is that the way it works? Yeah, I've um, we did uh, we did make an adjustment on the uh, vacant, so I'll make sure uh, Maya is informed and we get that uh, email activated. Oh, I do have one. Sorry, I have one thing uh, that's new business, old business. Um, at some point, it seems to me that we could consider meeting in person again, especially <laughs> if, right. 
Yeah. Well, By the way, if you haven't had your vaccination, they're doing the J and J in Barton for free walk in. You don't even have to have an appointment. So head on over there. Really? Mm -hmm. Today. It was just on the news. Wow. Yeah. Go I think it's between yeah. nine and three. One and done, baby. What did you say, Michael? You had the time on that? I think it's between nine and three. All right. There you go. Well, I'm. I'm it's already at the on. Barton. It's at the Barton Fairgrounds too. Yeah. Wow, you guys all know all about this. Yeah, and I'm already vaccinated, but I, yeah, I just hope, yeah, I'd love to get back to in-person meeting again. I feel like if we get to a point where we're, where the board is vaccinated and our staff is vaccinated and if we can, you know, when it's warmer and we meet in that upstairs room and we can have some windows cracked so that we have a lot of ventilation, it seems like the risk is, is very low, at least to the board. If we're all vaccinated, I still have personally, um, I'm right in between. I'm two weeks out from my first shot, and then I'll get my second shot in two weeks. So, Kaylee's so young. Oh, but Kaylee's been in the schools. Yeah. I'm vaccinated as well. Yeah. The there is a benefit to working in education, Eric. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Apparently in healthcare too, there's a benefit. That's what I hear. Yeah, but only not to, only to yourself. <laughs> um, and I, Wiz is vaccinated, so. Yeah, so we. It seems like we could start. Um, I don't want to. I guess I don't know. I mean, May six seems a little early, maybe, but. Maybe we could see what other towns are doing. Sean, do you have a line on that at all? Like, is anybody getting back together? Um, uh, no, on uh, select board meetings, I am not aware of anything. Um, this week is kind of the week where municipal offices are, um, you know, allowing a little bit more access. Um, uh, you know, the numbers have come down significantly in this last uh, three to five day period. Uh, the, yeah. the COVID incidence numbers have come down significantly. So, um, I, I mean, I can check into this. My gut check is maybe May 20th would be a good target. That's my thought because we're going to have some staff members that aren't necessarily fully vaccinated by the May 6th meeting. And I, I just want to like me. Yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, so, sorry, there's not a firm answer here because it's still a moving target, right? It's, it's like when we ramped up, well, now we're ramping back down. Mm -hmm. um, if we can, you know, continue to practice our social distancing. The other thing I'm thinking about is if LEAF were there uh, with hard work television or whoever's recording, you know, what's their situation? I wouldn't want them feeling uncomfortable, uh, you know, if they haven't had their vaccination. So, you know, you start to get into these, um, you know, where people are at on their individual vaccinations. Um, I, we're ramping toward it for sure. All I'm saying right now is I'm just not sure if May 6th is the right date or May 20th. That's just my opinion. No, more, more like May 20th. Maybe we can. I think we, we revisit it in May 6th in our new business, old business section and just see where we want to be on the 20th. I think we just take it meeting by meeting until we figure out like, all right, next meeting, let's do it. Does that sound and okay? And if I can just say this now, um, we're, what we are doing for the town offices is uh, we, uh, regardless of pro folks' vaccinations, you know, we are asking if you're visiting the offices to make sure you're masked up and we're uh, limiting, you know, we're trying to do our best just to limit exposures, even though the numbers are down significantly. Um, you know, we want to make sure that trend continues for our town, our county, and for the state. So uh, just, you know, continue to practice social distancing. Uh, we're trying to do appointment and email as best we can, but obviously we're going to start to see more in-person meetings coming. Um, you can check the town's website for more information. Uh, and as Sherry said, and we've just talked about now, uh, you know, vaccinations are important. So if you haven't gotten vaccinated yet, please consider doing it. It, it does. It's going to make a difference for all of us. I guess the only other thing I'll, I'll throw out there for us meeting in person is that I feel like we're pretty successful meeting as a group and getting community input when we're all on Zoom. And I feel that we're pretty successful when we're all in, more successful when we're all in the room. But the, the com combination where we're in a room and some people are trying to join remotely, I find to be very challenging. So just as a, you know, another consideration in moving to in-person is 
that part, the aspect of our meeting that's open to the public and folks who want to try to join, <clears throat> if there's still an expectation or a need or a desire to join remotely, I feel like just technologically, it's been, it was really difficult when we tried that last time, the last yeah. time we met. Yeah. So, you know, whatever, just another consideration as we move forward. But again, let's just try to take it, um, you know, bring it up at the next meeting. And if it's, if we're not ready for the 20th, bring it up at the 20th for the next meeting, that kind of thing that we're ready. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Let's green adjourn. Update. Oh, go ahead. Green update. Bags oh, green up, green I'm going to go pick up some bags from Jason because there was a little bit of a snafu with having a place to pick up the bags. So I'm going to have them at Whistle at some point after noon today. Um, and folks folks who want to get a jump start on it could get the bags from you before Saturday. Get the bags, yeah, yeah. Or Jason's also, he's posted on Front Porch Forum that he, that he you can make arrangements to pick them up from him and he has them up at Hazen, I think, but it's just been tricky this year because it's just a different kind of year for trying to pick those up. So yeah, I'm going to have Matt Whistle if people want them after, say, noon, because... Are they doing tires this year? Does anybody know? No. No tires? No tires. Oh my God. That's my understanding, no tires. I, I've seen a lot of tires on the roadsides. And travels. the collection is up at the at the uh, town garage on oh. Green Road. Not the actual garage part, but the building that is closer to uh, North Main Street. The um, new building? Yeah. I think so, yeah, yeah. So that's where they're doing the, that's where you bring your bags to. They're not, there's so no it's not the firehouse. The bags. There's no, no, it's not the firehouse because that's a COVID site, COVID uh, testing site. So they've changed that this year. So there are a lot of new little twists to it this year, but hopefully we'll still have a successful green up day. Yeah. All right. Great. Yeah, I want to just uh, note that um, our police department and our highway department are on notice and we are keeping an eye out for anybody that's illegally dumping just folks you can't be putting tires over the bank you got to be taking care of your garbage. Um, you know it just it, it's 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 not fair to your uh, neighbors that you're uh, you know rolling stuff off your vehicles into their into their properties uh, just please do a better job on that and uh, with you know, with a garbage pickup coming and green up, you know, you got an opportunity, uh, you know, at least if there's stuff beside the road, you know, help pick it up, uh, you know, let's, let's, you know, as the saying goes, green it up and uh, take advantage of this and, uh, you know, do your part and, you know, be responsible and don't be putting these things over the banks. It's not right. All right. On that, thank you, everyone. And we adjourn. All right. Have a, have a great day. day. Have a good day. day.